What's up guys, Old Painless here today with another third party review and we are looking at Fans Toys newest Insecticon, uh, FT13 Mercenary aka their G1 Masterpiece inspired shrapnel and uh, great looking figure here. Initial impressions, I mean I've only had them since this morning but uh, pretty happy with them so far. It's not the most perfect figure, um, I do think I prefer their uh, bombshell a little bit more just in terms of the transformation and whatnot but uh we'll kind of discuss some of those details in a little bit here in terms of a masterpiece interpretation this is what i would imagine shrapnel to look like right here um, a very clean clean robot has that same kind of bulkiness that we got from the uh, grenadier figure from fans toys has a lot of die cast on the figure you know throughout the feet and a little bit in the uh, thigh and i think some bits in the chest as well uh, but it has a nice heft and bulkiness and sort of a really solid feel in hand. Yeah, before we go too much further into the figure, let's take a quick look at the packaging as usual, and then we'll take a look at some of the accessories that came with them as well. So the packaging is nice. It's the usual sort of fans' toys uh, presentation here with the painted figure on the front, uh, Mercenary FT-13 on the bottom, uh, fans' toys logo. Looks pretty good the back we do get a shot of both the alt mode and the robot plus the description of the product some contact information right there for fans toys uh, top and bottom we get the uh, painted illustration of shrapnel there we go so pretty nice and then for accessories we do get a baggie of replacement parts these are for the uh, G1 toy inspired uh, leg options in case you want to replace the highly articulated ones that come pre-installed. You can swap on these uh, light gray plastic and purple legs to get a more toy, oops, accurate version there if you want to as I throw them across the room. Uh, two guns come included. They're single cast. A matte purple uh, look right there, which is pretty nice. No paint apps to speak of, but uh, decent sculpt has the masterpiece inspired peg handle right there. And you do get the chrome version there as well. We do also get a baggie of Energon cubes so you can kind of match those up with Grenadiers and have a, a little pyramid of these guys if you want to. A replacement chest piece with black paint at the bottom and then also it's clear yellow plastic. I haven't matched this up yet side by side with uh, bombshells but it looks fairly similar but again if you want that more toy deco you can swap that out right there if you choose to. And lastly we get a fans toy screwdriver. I guess if you want to swap out those uh, those legs, they try to help you out with that right there. And for the last bit of accessories in the box, we do get a collector's card. Pretty standard stuff nowadays. Nice little rendering of mercenary. Specs, tech specs, all that fun stuff. And then our handy instruction manual as well. So, list all the parts that come included. All the instructions and steps to get from point A to point B. Even shows you the uh, screw method to replace the um, the insect arms and all that stuff, as well as weapon storage, which I'll show off in a bit here. But uh, yeah, not bad. All right, so taking a closer look at the figure, we'll start off with the head right here. Big fan of this one. I think it was met with some criticism initially, but I think overall they really pulled it off. The red on the visor looks fantastic. They got some decent sculpting in there on the face as well. Uh, the lips look a lot more natural. They're not pouty like on Perceptor's face. So that looks pretty good. It's on a ball joint. So you get some, uh, some motion and movement there. You can rotate it around. A little bit of a left to right waggle there as well. Uh, these do kind of get in the way a little. Yeah, you can kind of move these around a little bit. So you can kind of free up the head a bit more as you need to. But... Uh, not too bad. I think it's a, one of the better fans' toys head sculpts. So that's a that's a plus right there. Plenty of breakup in color throughout the the entire body. Uh, obviously, mostly black, but we do have a nice purple, which is matte painted. So if you do have a grenadier uh, from fans' toys, that's the purple deco. This is not going to match up. This is more of a matte versus the metallic paint finish. So that may irk you. I'm not sure. I have the silver finished unit. Not really an issue for me. Uh, but we do have some nice sculpted detail throughout the body. Some blue accents right there. Uh, this is gold, yellowish gold painted 
for the chest with a nice sculpted uh, spot there for a Decepticon logo. If you want to pop one on, doesn't really quite match up color-wise with uh, with Bombshell, but we'll look at that too. Uh, really no paint to speak of on the arm; it's just a flat purple matte finish. I do like the uh, the detailing of the little gun there in the bottom. No articulation on that either; just the static piece. Uh, the arms do give you all the articulation and movement that you need. You get a pretty far upwards motion, although I don't think it's actually hindered by this, but I think it actually just naturally stops at the uh, the pincher right there. But you can see the uh, universal joint right there, which also rotates. Upper bicep, double jointed elbows for the full extension, wrist swivels, and the fingers are on a single pinned hinge, standard for masterpiece design. Although I do prefer Grenadier's hands better. These just close kind of naturally, which is fine. But I liked how on Bombshell or Grenadier, they had, my, my hand at least actually had a really solid kind of grip to it. Uh, kind of closed very tightly around the weapon and stuff. Uh, this can hold the weapons fine, it's just it's a little bit looser. So, you know, is what it is. Uh, standard waist swivel. I don't see any kind of looseness on the waist here. Uh, I don't see any kind of slippage, anything like that at all. Granted, I've only had this and transformed it a handful of times, so... Hoping the fans toys addressed the uh, pre-production samples, which had a short screw inside there. And we happen to see a couple of these break in half. <laughs> but uh, all signs right now are pretty positive. It feels nice and tight for the waist joint. Uh, hips are on universals, no ratchets. They get you plenty of outward motion for the Van Dam splits. Uh, plenty of forward, backwards. You do get an upper thigh swivel there. Uh, actually more than 90 degrees for the knee bend. And the feet are really nice. Um, die cast toes that are painted metallic purple with some really clean yellow paint applications right there. Uh, you get a great ankle tilt right there as well as a toe bend and this can come unhinged too just be careful. And you do actually get some uh, additional ankle movement too so really nice. Nice silver paint on the thighs, black all on the lower leg silver accents on the, on the outside of the lower leg as well as on the inside all sculpted painted very cleanly I don't see any kind of overspray I mean it all looks really nicely done uh, I mean, so far it's a pretty top-notch figure the only issue I really have in terms of paint is that it might not really show up on camera but uh, this yellow portion here there's a little bit of a uh, paint kind of I don't want to say it's chipping off, but some of the finish kind of wore away. And after I did my first transformation, I found some of this yellow paint kind of flaking. I found it on my uh, pant leg, so that was kind of odd. And I can see it, I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera, but there is some visible paint sort of uh, chipped off there. Uh, but luckily there's enough paint on the undercoat where it's still uh, yellow all throughout that rectangular piece. But that's the only issue I found paint-wise. I think overall, in terms of paint application, color choices, articulation, it's everything you really want out of a masterpiece shrapnel right here. The only other real issue, um, or maybe elephant in the room to address here, is the backpack. <laughs> That's a bulky, bulky backpack. I haven't really found the ideal way to configure the legs yet. You know, maybe I'll find something else better the more I mess around with the figure. But, uh, I think one of the nicer things about their bombshell was that two of the legs are, of the insect legs are attached to the actual feet, so it did clean up the backpack a bit more. There's definitely a lot more stuff going on with this backpack. It doesn't really bother me too much. I get it, you know, it's there's a lot you have to kind of compress here to put into a, a backpack, but uh, a little bit sloppy, a little bit disappointing, but it's not overly bad. You know, I, I can live with that myself. And if it really bothers me or bothers you, then you do have those replacement pieces. You can pop them on. I believe they'll give them more, more of a slimmer profile. Um, I'm going to keep them as is. I prefer the hyper articulation of the insect legs personally, so that's my choice. And then we're going to bring in Bombshell here, or Grenadier, so we can kind of see these guys side by side. I do want to show off the yellow of these chests here. Hopefully it's showing up on camera. 
they're pretty close. I mean, for my taste, for my eyes, this will work. You know, this doesn't bother me all that much, but I understand that it, it might bother other people. Uh, this looks more like a neutral kind of yellowish gold to me on Grenadier. This one looks like it has maybe a hint more orange in the paint. But I mean, for the most part, they're pretty close. They aren't perfect though. So if you're a stickler for paint accuracy, it might bug you a little bit. Um, you know, not really a concern for me, but just be aware of that. Uh, one other thing that aesthetically kind of just irks me a little bit is the hip design. You know, you have a really boxy upper thigh and hip on Grenadier, where this is just much smoother uh, going from the hip into the, the thigh right there. And you can even see it's more rounded on shrapnel here. And, you know, it's not a bad thing per se. You know, it kind of helps distinguish or differentiate the different members of the team here. So I can get behind that choice. Uh, it just looks a little bit odd, you know, it, it, aesthetically they do kind of look a little bit off on the lower leg. But uh, that's kind of nitpicking more than anything. I think, honestly, that looks, you know, well enough with each other right there. Comparison for the backpack, you can see them side by side. I mean, neither really clean up super cleanly, although this is definitely compressed a bit more. You know. But... Not too bad. While we have Grenadier here out for a comparison, let's bring some other Decepticons in as well. And here we have Apollyon, aka Megatron. We have Masterpiece Soundwave, Shrapnel, and Bombshell together. And, you know, for a Masterpiece shelf, this looks pretty damn good for Decepticons. I gotta say, I'm quite happy with how this set's turning out right here. So as nice as that robot mode looks, let's go ahead and get this guy transformed into his insect mode, and uh, we'll check that out as well. Let me just go ahead and clean up these legs and sort of squeeze things together. And there is Mercenary in his alt mode. And uh, I gotta say, it's a pretty awesome looking Insecticon. This very much looks and feels just like uh, Fans Toys Grenadier or Bombshell in his alt mode. Um, has that same, you know, die cast heavy, dense sort of feel to it. It has a nice weight in hand. I mean, this thing is pretty heavy and man he looks so good I love the silver chrome for these little these little claws or pinchers although these like to come apart a little bit I'm a little wary at the moment just posing these pieces I mean it is plastic versus like a die cast part but I mean as long as you're gripping them and moving them at its joint then there's really no I'm not really too worried about these uh, breaking but just be you know, be careful, is all. Uh, the color looks great, though. Um, all the black, the gold, yellowish tints, the purple mixed throughout. The uh, silver chrome looks great. I mean, it really looks 
the part here. I mean, this really just reminds me of shrapnel growing up as a kid. And again, you do get the pincher articulation I showed off before, which obviously is gonna, depending how far you go, may unmask his uh, robot mode face. But uh, you can get them pretty tightly pressed together as well. And then the legs are fully articulated just like on their bombshell. So you get swivels here, uh, which also rotate, and then one, two joints there as well. So tons of articulation. You actually get an additional joint on the front legs. So lots of options, lots of playability. You can even sort of move these little uh, body pieces inwards if you want to get some, uh, you know, more crazy poses, but it kind of breaks the sculpt a little bit. Uh, I do think the arms here are a little bit of an eyesore because uh, you do kind of see the hands, although I suppose you can kind of rotate those 90 degrees. So maybe you see the top of the hand there instead. Uh, not the cleanest option. It's a little gappy right there as well. As well, and I gotta say, I wish these you know pegged in firmer into the base right there. And you can kind of see they do wiggle a little bit. So not the most secure connection, unless I'm missing something here. But I don't think I am. I mean, these, this is basically how they're positioned, you know, in this mode. And uh, you know, everything really cleans up really tightly. Um, the only other thing that's kind of loose though is the weapon storage. Uh, I know Grenadier has a really tight fitting for the weapon, but this one definitely wiggles a little bit. It's not going to fall out though, because it really is wedged up between these two legs, which are pegged together. But there is a little bit of play with that right there. So just be aware of it, that's all. I gotta tell you, the transformation on this mode is nowhere near as intuitive as uh, Grenadier was. The leg design on paper makes a lot of sense it kind of feels like combiner wars esque where you're kind of uh you know untabbing the uh this portion of the foot or the leg right here and then you're kind of compressing the legs and then this kind of recompresses back down again but one of these two legs is super smooth uh the hinge inside which rotates this portion up and back like that um it's easy clearance the other one is so freaking tight so I've done this transformation, you know, four or five times now. It's gotten a little bit easier to move that joint, but I have to really take that piece and kind of, you know, manhandle it to kind of push that joint into place. And, you know, this isn't really complicated, but just getting this line, this back portion here, lined up internally, and then getting the gun lined up, and then getting everything kind of pegged together, it's not hard, it's just a, a bit more of a... A little bit more of a pain you know you're gonna be a little bit more hands-on getting things kind of lined up and sort of compressed into place where they where, where parts are supposed to be going so you know it is what it is it, it cleans up really nicely you know once you get the the feet here sort of pegged into this joint there you know things kind of just click in together after that but uh, again not the most pleasant transformation I, I do think they're bombshell was a little bit more fun to do. Um, I definitely don't see myself, you know, picking this figure up as often and messing around with it from, uh, you know, the different different transformations and stuff. And speaking of Grenadier, let's go ahead and drop him into place next to Mercenary. And man, look at those guys. They look so freaking good together. Yeah, I'm really happy with how this set's turning out. You know, slight color variations aside on the yellows. And I know, again, if you are if you went for the purple variant on their bombshell, it's not going to match up as nicely, you know, with Mercenary here. But, uh, you know, just aesthetically speaking, these things look amazing together. You know, this is exactly what I wanted in terms of a masterpiece Insecticon. Definitely looks amazing. And just for one more size comparison, there is a masterpiece car, so you can just kind of get an idea of how big these insects are actually turning out to be. All right, guys, so final thoughts on Fans Toys FT-13 Mercenary, AKA their masterpiece shrapnel. Um, it's a great figure. It really is. Um, it's not perfect. I'll touch on some points in just a second. But, uh, you know, if you're already one figure in with their bombshell, I mean, this is the same type of aesthetic quality of, uh, 
you know, feel in hand, the die cast, the plastic, the paint apps. I mean, it really, it, it feels very much in par and in line with what we've already gotten, you know, from their first release in the line. Um, so yeah, it's a great second figure for their Insecticons, a uh, great addition from Fans Toys. Very easily will fit that role of shrapnel on my Masterpiece shelf. With that being said, it's not as fun of a figure, you know, compared to their Grenadier. And I, I say that because the transformation is just a little, little sloppy, I'd say. Not hugely impressed with uh, the execution of the legs. Although it makes sense, they just don't work all that smoothly or as well as they should. Um, you know, things don't really, the joints are just not toleranced properly at least on my figure. Maybe your results will vary, but you know, I hopefully some of these uh, issues and tolerances will loosen up over time You know, as I have some more hands-on time with the figure. Um, also, the forearm design, it's, it's a little ugly. You have a seam line here, you know, a rotational joint, which is pretty well hidden, but, uh, you, but know. you know, it would have been nice to have maybe that metallic paint on the uh, arm instead to maybe match Grenadier for those people that went that route, you know, to match that metallic purple on the foot right there. And uh, when you sort of break these pieces up and do the rotation and you tuck it away into the alt mode, it definitely feels a little floppy and maybe not as secured as, I, as I'd like really, uh, you know, for the insect right there. Also the hands work extremely well. I mean, they're the typical masterpiece design. Uh, I just liked on my bombshell, and I don't know if maybe it was a uh, mistake on my, my Grenadier figure, but, you know, when I closed the hand on my other figure, they would kind of rest here at this particular location, and then if I wanted to get them fully closed like this, those hands would actually click into place and lock into place. And, uh, again, I'm not sure if that was intended or not, but uh, these just feel a little bit looser, and as a result, you know, he can still hold his weapon pretty well, but the guns don't really peg very tightly into the palm of the hand, and they are a little bit loose holding them right there. So, you know, a uh, nitpick just uh, could have been done better is what I'm trying to get at here. And then lastly, the backpack may be an eyesore for you. I, I still got to play with this some more and get a better configuration for it, but uh, you know, just be aware there's a lot of robot insect leg kibble hanging off the back. But that's the trade-off you get when you go for the full articulation versus the uh, the toy mode legs right there. But all in all, an excellent figure. You know, very happy I picked him up. Uh, like I said, he's really going to fill that shrapnel hole in my Masterpiece shelf. Um, still very much interested in checking out Mastermind Creations, uh, Studio, Studio Ox Insecticons, but uh, I mean, this really is an excellent figure and I think you're gonna be quite happy with it especially if you are you know used to the fans toys quality that they've already been putting out uh, with that being said guys thank you so much for watching appreciate the uh, you checking out my video here and uh, hopefully I have some more reviews coming out by the end of the week um, I'm hoping to get quake blast shortly and uh, I should have an order in for the next two generation toys figures as well so um, guys, have a great day, and uh, thanks for watching.